Hi, this is Roger from Pistol Snipe, and what I wanted to talk about today was doing an upgrade on this uh, 300 Blackout AR pistol that I've got here. And we will dump the mag. Check to make sure it is not loaded. Chamber's empty. Now, one of the things that you will find with ARs is that you can put an infinite, an infinite amount of money into them. And one of the things a lot of people will do is put a new trigger in it. The standard mil spec trigger is it's workable, obviously, but it's uh, so so. So people like to put drop in triggers. Well, this one I put in a Rise Armament RA140 SST. It is one of the most reasonably priced. Uh, well-regarded uh, single-stage triggers on the market. So uh, being budget conscious, I went ahead and got that. Now the uh, thing about this particular uh, unit is it claims that you do not need to have any anti-rotational or anti-walk pins uh, installed that will work. There are a couple of set screws that you can lock in and it is uh, an optional thing when you have the rotational anti-rotational pins. But I don't know if I can even show this to you on the camera, but there is, uh, if you, on each side, and I'll kind of put the Allen wrench in place, they get 564 Allen wrench, and you have to move the arm of the spring aside on each side. You need to tighten down, and this is not the, the adjustment in the center. Don't, don't touch that one. It's against the walls of the lower, and you tighten it down. These, these screws go down, and they, they snug up that drop-in trigger against the bottom of the lower. Now they tell you don't over tighten it because you can change the actual tension on the on the trigger then. But you know this is a, a 564 so Allen wrench and you kind of have to put it in this direction uh, and you can kind of wind it up. I've never broken one of these but or, or bent that I know of but it just doesn't feel like you can put a lot of torque on it. it says don't over tighten. What does that mean? No idea. So anyway What to my surprise do I find one night when I am unloading this uh, weapon? It has a round in the chamber and I drop the mag, pull back on the charging handle and eject the, uh, the live round. And to continue my uh, check for the weapon to make sure it's clear, pull the charging handle again. Something flies out again. I couldn't have been around. Well, it wasn't. I look down and it is the trigger pin for holding in the, uh, which is you know, right there, that pin right there just flew out. Okay, now that, that really kind of violates the rule that I have about making things reliable. I like my guns to be reliable. Uh, not most of the time, but all the time. So I went ahead and got what they recommend, which is the KNS pins. And they're, you know, just under 30 bucks. And some people put them in simply because they're cool. Well, I can't afford cool. I just want, again, functional. I want to be reliable. Uh, so anyway, so I've gotten these. And there, there's some other good videos about actually installing these. So I won't uh, really go through that. But there again, you know, kind of the point of it is here, some of the difficulties in building some of these guns and staying with the manufacturer specs, uh, they tell you that you should uh, tighten these. Again, they, they, they give you, it's a, it's a Torx. Uh, it's a Torx bit. It's not just an Allen wrench. And they give you the two of them to tighten them on each side. And they tell you 8 to 11 inch pounds of torque. Well, I got out my handy dandy uh, Pittsburgh. Granted, it's not a snap on. Uh, quarter inch torque wrench. And it goes down to 20 inch pounds. It doesn't go down to 10. So, um, I've not seen other videos. Again, the, you know, there are other videos online, so this isn't necessarily about that. But again, the difficulty of trying to keep things in spec and do it the right way, and yet these manufacturers don't seem to make it necessarily um, easy to do that. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a real frustration with uh, probably any firearm, especially in the AR. Again, there are so many, so many upgrades that you can, that you can put in. But uh, I guess, you know, a couple of takeaways here. You know, the, the Rise trigger is a nice trigger. If you, if you do buy it, I highly recommend that you go with the recommendation of the KNS pins and keep the darn things from uh, flying out because these, these will not fly out. These have uh, 
these are screwed into place again and there is a little bit of uh, Loctite it appears although it's uh, appears to be gray in color I've seen blue on them also so I'm not sure but essentially though you don't want to use red I'm pretty sure of that but you want to use a little Loctite it looks like to keep these uh, these screws in but that will keep the, the drop-in trigger from going anywhere you can use it also on the mil spec trigger you can use these pins but uh, again one of the one of the most popular upgrades that people have for really any AR and especially the uh, the AR pistols is a nice drop-in trigger and they can go up in price you know a couple three hundred dollars easily but there are a lot of you know nice triggers uh, both single stage and double stage uh, in the lower 100 range uh, again this one I was actually able to get it for uh, 95 bucks uh, shipped and that was a special because of uh, a coupon you know some uh, website was trying to get some business so they put a coupon out to a forum and said hey guys you know here it is and after one or two people buy it and they say yeah I got it it's not a it's not a scam and everybody else kind of jumps on it, and that's how that's how that typically works so again uh, I, I do have a lot of interest in these AR pistol builds uh, especially the ghost builds and I like to uh, Put in upgrades that will be a value uh yeah everybody likes a little bit of cool factor but again you have to be able to afford cool and not all of us can so what we're going to do is uh just try to look for upgrades that make a lot of sense that are as economical as possible but yet reliable again the, the last thing i want to do is pick up a gun uh like this uh pull the charging handle and have a pin fly out that's not good so while they might tell you that the uh that these KS pins are optional. Uh, I guess I don't buy that anymore. And uh, because I did have it tightened down reasonably, oh yeah, don't over tighten. But again, what does that mean? Obviously, it wasn't tight enough or something about the design. It's just not good enough. When, and I barely shot it. I mean, I probably put, I don't know, but just 10 rounds maybe through it. And uh, so it's not like it had loosened up from firing or anything like that. So it's uh, just a situation where you have to. Uh, kind of dig into a little bit. I'll follow the advice of someone uh, that's kind of been there before. Uh, I had not uh, found anyone who'd been there before, and I've been there now, so I'm telling you, hopefully you can get some value from that. So that's it for this video. I'll wrap it up here, and we will catch you next time.